how to add MX DMARC, DKIM, and SPF records for your pork bun domain to Google Workspace 2024. All right, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set these up inside of your pork bun and Google admin account. You can get right into it. So if you're using pork bun or GoDaddy or, you know, whatever domain provider you're using, this could definitely be relevant to you. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up these records um, inside of pork bun and Google Workspace. Step number one, when you're actually at the Google admins part, go to account and then go to the domain section right here. Um, I drew a really pretty little arrow right there for you guys. So just click add domain or you can just click manage domain. So we can go that real quick. You're going to be at this section right here when it goes to home and then click manage domains. Once you're here, just click add domain at the very top. And then whatever secondary domain you just set up, I'm assuming you're either creating a new company or you're setting up secondary domains. Um, so you can start sending code emails, put in your secondary domain right here. And then from there, you're going to click the secondary domain right here to the left and then click add domain and start verification. All right, so once you click that and you go to the next step, once you actually add your domain and then click verification, um, go to, you're gonna be at this page. You just wanna go to next, go to step number two. All right, so once you're at this page, you just wanna click below, obviously copy your verification code and then go all the way to Porkbun or GoDaddy, wherever you manage your domains from. And then go to the actual domain um, that you're gonna be wanting to set up, click DNS. And then from here, in terms of the type of record that we're setting up, it is going to be a new TXT record. So right here, just scroll down to TXT. And then from here, when it comes to the answer, just copy and paste for the host, just do the at symbol. And then in terms of the TTL, usually I put 60. Um, they don't recommend anything otherwise. So you can just do that and then click add right there. Click protect domain and then we should be good to go. We we'll just have to wait a couple minutes. All right. So once you actually click protect domain, it's going to take two to three minutes from there. You should be at this page right here. It should redirect you to this page. So the secondary domain that you just created, just click activate Gmail. You're going to want to set up MX records. So just click next. It should take you to this page right here. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need to go back into Porkbun or GoDaddy from here. Um, I'm also gonna give you guys this doc. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I'm gonna give you guys this doc, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how exactly to do all this. Um, but yeah, here's exactly what you need to do in terms of MX records. It's gonna be different for you guys because you're gonna have different codes, but realistically, you just need to copy all of these and then paste them into the records field. So you actually need to change these. Be sure that you change these from TXT all the way to MX and then put these as the answer. That is the first one, there is four more. This one we would do priority of five. And then I'm gonna copy and paste all these and then we'll get back to the video. All right, so I just added all of these. Once you guys do add all five of these, it's gonna look exactly like this. So MX, there should be five. So one, two, three, four, five, it should go down where it shows ASPMX and then it should say alt one, two, three, four. Um, the TTL, usually I do 60 and then you can do these don't really matter too much, but I do one, five, five, and 10. So from there, scroll all the way to the bottom and then click activate Gmail. This usually takes a minute. So I'm gonna pause this and get back to you guys when it's done. All right, so it just finished 30 seconds later. So we're completely done with adding the MX records. Okay, so we're completely done with this section right here. The next step is to essentially just create the email account and then log into it, okay? So the secondary domain that you just created, just click add users, okay guys? From there, you're gonna to wanna to put in the first name. So let's say for example, you're doing this for a client, then you're gonna need the client's first and last name. If you're, if you're doing this for yourself, um, obviously just put your first and last name. And then from here, just put your first name. Um, make sure that you put the domain that you just created as well. But right there, obviously that's self-explanatory. In terms of the secondary email, honestly, you can just do any email you want. I'm gonna be using this one right here. And then for the phone number, I'm gonna blur this out, but that's my phone number. Click add new user. And then from there, you're gonna get a username and then a password. Copy the password and then log in on your end. All right, so I just logged in. I'm gonna get a page like this. And then in terms of the new password, just do whichever one you'd like. All right, so I just set up this new email account. We are good to go. The next step is to be adding the SPF record. So go all the way back to the DNS records, scroll all the way down to where it says TXT record. And then we're gonna do the same exact process. Honestly, you can just copy and paste it from here. That's probably the easiest process that you could do. So in terms of the value and then the host, like I said, the host, either blank or put an at, and then the answer, just put this copy and pasteable link right here and then click add easy as that. And then in terms of the DMARC, do the same exact thing, the TXT record and then the host, just copy and paste that. And then in terms of the answer, um, I put this red just to show you guys, this is your email that you are setting up. Okay. So just delete this part and then just put the email that you're using that you just set up. So. As of now, we have MX records that are set up, SPF records that are set up, DMARC records that are set up, and then the email account is set up as well. In terms of DKIM, very, very easy to do. So you guys could realistically just go to the admin.google, 
right here, just type in DKIM. Uh, I'm probably just going to link it for you guys right here. I'll just add a link um, right here. But for this example, I'm just going to go to DKIM authentication. Click over here, make sure that you do select the domain that you just set up and that you're setting up currently. So this is what I've used. So right here, you're going to click generate new record. This does not matter too much. Click generate. And then from there, you're going to get a link like this. Just copy this entire thing. Go all the way back to fork one. Put this as the answer. And then from there, you're going to want to copy and paste this and put that as the host name. You are good to go on that end. So in this entire video, um, we've basically gone over the entire process. In terms of the next step right here, I think I skipped it. Just click start authentication. Now, this usually takes probably five to 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, you should be able to, to see within the next five, 10 minutes. Either way, that is it for this video. I'm going to send you guys the link in the description to this entire document. It shows step-by-step -step tomorrow on how exactly to set up these by yourself. And then from there, if you do have any questions or you're, you're honestly not sure if you set it up correctly, you can use mailgenius.com to see if you did it correctly. Here is exactly what the output should look like. You should get a 98 out of 100. And for the DKIM, should be passing. SPF should be passing. DMARC should be passing. If these are not passing, then you did something wrong, just scroll up and then see what you did wrong and then fix it. If you have any questions, let me know.